Evidently, we have to wait for a lot. There it is. Welcome to the 2019 Douglas County School System Spelling Bee that is sponsored by DCAE. So I'd like to take a minute to thank everyone. Um, thank you to the wonderful parents for supporting your children. Yay! <laughs> thank you to the DCAE. They sponsor this event and pay for all the trophies and the goodie bags and the dictionaries. So we appreciate all that they do for us in the system. Yay! <laughs> also, thank you to our Douglas County School System board members. Are there any board members here today? If you'll stand. Well, maybe they're coming. Also, thank you to Mr. North and our central office staff. And thank you to the following people that decorate and do the programs and do all the behind the scenes work. And that's Debbie Plemons, Darlene Snyder, Debbie Daniels, Michelle Watson, Carol Camp, Pam Nail, Casey Bethel, Dr. Sean Kelly, Dr. Stephanie Cosper, Rhonda Baldwin, and Ken Kenya Elder. Also, thank you for supporting the school system spelling bee, Angela Carter and Melanie Manley. And I'd like to uh, also thank our content specialists. They're all around the room. They'll be assisting you and the students throughout the bay. Lauren Cook, Kaasha Davis, Tania Boone, Tammy Morris, Samantha Shipp, Tanisha Springer, and Kimberly Wood. So I'd like to give all of them a big hand. I'd like to thank Rick Martin and his staff. They'll be filming this so you can watch it on TV and the kids will get to watch it. And it's just really fun to see yourself on TV. So thank you, Rick Martin and your staff. And of course, our judges and callers. So if you'll stand or wave when I call your name. Um, Tanil Edwards. McKeith Cordell. Rebecca Jackson, and Victoria Burnett. So to prepare for the B, I just want to give you a few reminders. Please turn off all your devices at this time. Students, contestants, if you have a cell phone, if you will take that and your dictionary to your parents at this time. If anyone has a dictionary or a cell phone, if you'll take that to your parents at this time. There's no talking or no pictures during the actual spelling bee. Any objections that you have, you have a card that you can wave in the air and someone on the side will come and pick up that card and bring it to our judges. So don't forget to fill out that card before you raise it up and do not object to the words themselves. Spellers, you will move to the second row if you get out and you'll wait until the end of the round to go and sit with your family. Spellers, keep your number visible. So if you have a jacket, you may want to take that jacket off so that the, we can see your numbers. When you come up to spell the word, make sure you speak loudly and clearly, but most of all, above everything else, we want you to have fun today. Also remember, everyone here is a winner already. You are representing your school. You're a winner. And now we're going to have the spellers introduce themselves. So I want you to say your name and your school. Hi, my name is Shamal Mark. I'm from Factory Shows Middle School. Oh. 
Hi, my name is Cornell Fangman, and I'm from Bright Star Elementary. My name is Gabrielle Morris, and I'm from Lithia Springs Elementary. Hello, my name is Destiny Hawkins, and I'm representing Mirror Lake Elementary. My name is Tanya Singleton, and I'm representing North Dallas Elementary School. Hi, my name is Anaya Solomon, and I'm representing Chapel Hill Elementary School. Hi, my name is Charlotte Hunter, and I'm representing Turner Middle School. Hi, my name is Hayden Hayes, and I'm representing Dorset Shoals. Hi, my name is Layla McGee, and I'm representing Stewart Middle School. Hi, my name is Jack Trotter, and I'm, and I'm representing South Douglas. My name is Kristen Green, and I'm representing Holly Springs Elementary School. Hi, my name is Olubadi Bukai, and I'm representing Chestnut Log Middle School. Hi, my name is Andy Barker, and I'm representing Fair Play Middle School. Hi, my name is Jesse Heckwer, and I'm representing Mason Creek Middle School. Hi, my name is Jacob Cunningham, and I'm representing Sweetwater Elementary. Hi, my name is Mayana Johnson, and I'm representing my Annette Wynn Elementary School. Hi, my name is Precious Alajede, and I'm representing Burnett Elementary School. Hi, my name is Yusuf Khan, and I'm representing Buell Elementary. Hi, my name is Chanel G, and I'm representing Eastside Elementary. Hi, my name is Kalani Multa, and I'm representing Factory Shows Elementary. Hi, my name is Shabon Perowit, and I'm rep representing Barton Academy. Hi, my name is Christopher Morgan, and I'm representing Mason Creek Elementary. Hi, my name is Paul O'Kay, and I'm representing Mount Carmel Elementary. Hi, my name is Emily Hyman, and I'm representing Winston Elementary. Hi, my name is Carrie Trimble, and I'm representing New Manchester Elementary. Hi, my name is Kayla Graham, and I'm representing Arbor Station Elementary. Good morning, my name is Joseph Sheffield, and I'm representing Yeager Middle School. Hi, my name is Owen Ricky Westcott, and I'm representing Chapel Hill Middle School. Hi, my name is Zobler, and I'm, in, I'm from Bill Arbor Elementary School. Good morning, my name is Altina Lee, and I'm representing Brighton Academy.
take a deep breath, let it out, relax. And this is going to be a fun event for you. You will remember this the rest of your life. So make it enjoyable and make it fun and relax, okay? Just remember you are all winners. And now we're going to hear from our judges and we're going to go over the rules. Thank you. Good morning. The 2019 DCSS Spelling Bee Rules. In the B, spellers shall pronounce the word both before and after spelling it. However, no speller will be eliminated for failing to pronounce a word. Failure to capitalize a word or recognize grammatical markings will not be penalized. When a speller fails to spell a word correctly, he or she must step out of the B. A different word shall be given to the next speller. After having started to spell a word, the speller shall not be given any opportunity to change the letters once pronounced. The speller may retrace the letters of the word from the beginning only, provided no letters or their sequence are changed from those first pronounced. If the letters and or their sequence are changed in the respelling, the speller shall be eliminated. The speller may ask the caller to say the word again, define it, use it in a sentence, provide the part of speech, give alternate pronunciation, and or provide the language of origin of the word before attempting to spell it. Root word questions will not be entertained by the caller or judges. No other information about the etymology or history of a word shall be provided. The caller shall grant all such requests until the judges agree that the word has been made reasonably clear to the speller. The judges may disqualify any speller who ignores a request to start spelling. If no definition of a homonym is provided by the caller, the correct spelling of either word shall be accepted. When a definition or sentence is given, the speller must spell the correct word. The judges will determine if the word was spelled correctly and if incorrect will provide the correct spelling. Any question relating to the procedures or spelling of a word should be referred to the judges immediately. The deadline for making an objection is before the affected speller would have received his or her next word had he or she stayed in the B. No objection shall be entertained after the B is terminated. An objection may be filed by a parent, legal guardian, or school representative of the affected speller. The designated person is the only one who may object on behalf of the speller during the B. Only the designated person for a speller may voice an objection for his or her speller, and the objection can relate only to his or her speller. To object properly, only the designated person shall stand and remain standing until recognized by the spelling bee coordinator. The spelling bee coordinator or designee will collect the objection form and, if necessary, confer with the judges to make a decision. The judges and the GAE spelling bee committee are in complete control of the bee. Their decision shall be final on all matters. Upon missing a word, the speller should sit in the second row waiting area until the end of the round to see whether they will be called back up. At the end of the round, if more than one person remains on the front row, students on the second row will be dismissed to sit with their family or with their school officials. No audio recording, video recording, photography, webcasting, or streaming of the DCAE spelling bee is permitted. Flash photography will only be allowed before and after the bee and during the practice round. In fairness to the contestants, who are already at various levels of nervousness, extraneous noise from small children, excessive coming and going, talking, etc., could pose a distraction and prove very unfair to them during these moments in the sun. Please respect the B process and the participants and do what's necessary to eliminate such distractions. At this point, we'll begin the practice spelling round. Speller number one, please come up. The first practice word is zero. Zero. Z-E-R-O. Correct. The second. Your word is tomato. Tomato. T-O-M-A-T-O. -O. Tomato. Correct.
waffle. Waffle, W-A-F-F-L-E. Correct. Shampoo. Shampoo. S-H-A-M-P-O-O. -O. Shampoo. Correct. Etch. Etch. E-T-C-H. Correct. Orange. Orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. Orange. Library. Library. L-I-B-R-A-R-Y. Library. Yes. This word has a homonym. The word is bangle. Banghole. Bangle. Oh, bangle. Let, let me finish. This word is a noun. Do you have any questions about this word? No. Bangle. B-A-N-G-U-E-L. Uh, that's incorrect, but this is a practice round, so you're fine. Garage. Garage. G-A-R-A-G-E. Garage. Yes. This word has a homonym. The word is current. This word is an adjective, and it means presently elapsing. C current, C-U-R-R-E-N-T, current. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is pickle. Pickle is a verb. It means to steep in a solution of salt or vinegar for preservation. Pickle, pickle, P-I-C-K-L-E, pickle. Correct. Measure. Measure. M-E-A-S-U-R-E. -E. Measure. Canary. Canary. C-A-N-A-R-Y. Canary. Yes. Whirlpool. Whirlpool. W H I R L P O O L. Whirlpool. Yes. This word has a homonym. This word is cashew. Cashew is a noun and it is a kidney shaped nut of the tropical American tree naturalized in all warm countries. Cashew, C-A-S-H-E-W, cashew. Yes. Deluxe. Deluxe, D-E-L-U-X-E, -E, deluxe. Yes. Trek. Trek, T-R-E-K, trek. Hundredth. H U N D R E T H. 
Okay, you misspelled that, but this is practice round, so that's okay. Cushy. Cushy. <clears throat> C-U-S-H-Y, cushy. Yes. This word could be confused with a similar word. This word is errand. This word is a noun, and it means a trip in order to deliver a message or to purchase or attend to something. Errand. E-R-R-A-N-D. Errand. Yes. Dissect. Dissect. D I S C wait no D I S E C T dissect. Okay, uh, you missed that, but it's okay. It's practice. Blitz. Blitz. B. Wait. Wait. Huh? Glitz. Glitz. Can you give me the definition of glitz? Yes. Uh, it is a noun, and it means extravagant showiness. G-L-I-T-Z? Correct. This word is polka. This word has a near homonym. This word is a noun, and it means a vivacious couple dance of bohemian origin with three steps and a hop in double time? Polka, P-O-L-K-A, polka. Yes. Nat. Wait, oh, this word has a homonym. The word is nat. This word is a noun, and it means any of a various small two-winged flies. Nat. G-N-A-T. Nat. Correct. Tattle. Tattle, T-A-T-T-L-E. Yes. Tattle. <laughs> hearth. Hearth, H-A-R-T-H, -H, hearth. Okay, that's incorrect. It's okay because it's practice. Candidate. Candidate. C A N D I D A T E. Candidate. Yes. Unity. Could you say the word again, please? Unity. Unity. U N I T Y. Yes. Access. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is access. Access. A oh, no, hold on just a minute. Okay, let me read this to you. Uh, the part of speech is a verb. Do you have any questions? Oh. And it means to get at or gain freedom or ability to obtain or make use of. Do you have any questions about this word? No. Okay. Access. A-C-C-E-S. Okay. That's incorrect, but this is practice, so it's okay. Harmonica. 
Can you repeat the word? Harmonica. Harmonica. H-A-R-M-O-N-I-C-A, -A, harmonica. Correct. This is the end of the practice spelling round. And now Mr. Cordell is going to read the words, uh, the rules for the practice vocabulary round. OK, for the practice vocabulary round, the caller will read aloud the word, the vocabulary question, and both options A and B. The caller will respond to the speller's request for the question and or answer options to be repeated. If needed, the caller will also provide the spelling of the word in question. The speller may answer the question by providing the letter associated with the chosen answer, the chosen answer, or both. For example, if the speller is offered the question, what is porridge made from? A, fur, or B, grain, which of the following methods each of the following methods is an, of answering is correct. B, grain, or B, grain. Thank you. OK, number one, come forward. Nosiest. Nosiest. Something described as the nosiest is the most A, prying, or B, prideful. B? Okay. That's incorrect. It is A, prying. Number two, you, sit, you can stay. It's practice. Number two, puma. A puma is a type of a, a broom or brush, or B, a wildcat? B. Correct. Harmonica. What is a harmonica? A, a wire string keyboard, or B, a small rectangular wind instrument? A. That's incorrect. It is a small rectangular wind instrument. Bookkeeping. What does bookkeeping refer to? A. Accounting or B. Library work. B. Library work. That's incorrect. It is a accounting. Your word is balcony. Where would you most likely find a balcony? A, at a deli, or B, at a theater? A. Okay, that's incorrect. It would most likely be found at a theater. Your word is panic. A person experiencing panic feels A, a sudden terror, or B, relaxation. A. Correct. Your word is reptile. What is a reptile? A, a copy of something else, or B, an animal that crawls or moves on its belly or short legs. B. Correct. Your word is timely. Something described as timely is A, done slowly, or B, done at a suitable time. B. Correct. Your word is uproar. An uproar can be described as A, loud, or B, smelly. A. Correct. Number three, 
your word is strict. A person described as strict is A, exhausted, or B, complete, thorough. B. That is correct. Your word is bongo. A bongo is a type of A, drum, B, primate. A. Correct. Your word is tragic. What does it mean to be tragic? A, mysteriously enchanting, or B, related to a disastrous event? B. Correct. Your word is etch. What does it mean to etch? A, to outline a business plan, or B, to produce a design through scratching metal or glass? B. Correct. Your word is gur guru. A person described as a guru is A, a spiritual guide, or B, a personal servant? A. Correct. Your word is sombrero. A sombrero is a type of A, shoe, or B, hat. B. Correct. Your word is piccolo. A piccolo is a type of A, bread, or B, instrument. B. Correct. Your word is skipper. A skipper is in charge of A, a track and field team, or B, a fishing boat. B. Correct. Talc. Talc is a type of A, mineral, or B, plastic. A. Correct. Cameo. What is a cameo? It is A, a silk tank tip worn as a slip, or B, a brief role performed by a well-known actor. Can you repeat the word? Yes. Cameo. A? No, that's incorrect. It's a, a brief role performed by a well-known actor. Okay, yes. Thank you. Your word is yield. This, oh. Hold on one moment. Right, your word is callous. Callous is someone described as callous. A, feels no sympathy for others, or B, <coughs> delights in regularity and rhythm. A. That is correct. Okay. Entrepreneur. What are entrepreneurs? A, those who own their own businesses, or B, Small glazed ceramic tiles. A. Good. Commendable. If something is commendable, it is A, worthy of praise, or B, can be purchased cheaply. A. Correct.
Exasperation. What is another word for exasperation? A, annoyance, or B, tranquility? A. Correct. Dexterity. What is dexterity? A, recovery from hardship, or B, skill in using your hands? A. No, it's skill in using your hands, but this is practice, so it's fine. Incessant. What is another word for incessant? A, popular, or B, unceasing? A. No, it's unceasing, but again, this is just practice. Your word is conspiracy. A conspiracy is A, an illegal plan to destroy a person or group, or B, a right, claim, or interest existing in equity. B? No, it's an illegal plan to destroy a person or group. Your word is ricochet. A ricochet is A, a glancing rebound or skipping, or B, a single catch of fish. A. Correct. Your word is grandiose. Something described as grandiose is A, marked by pretense pretense and pomp or arrogance, or B, bidding for or used in attacking an opponent? A. Correct. Cosmos. What does cosmos refer to? A, a punctuation mark used for division in a sentence, or B, the universe conceived as an orderly system? B. Correct. Your word is fatigue. What is fatigue? A, physical exhaustion, or B, nervousness? A. Correct. This completes practice round one. At this time, we'll begin the actual spelling B. Okay. Number one, come forward. Your spelling word is nostril. Nostril. Could you um, give me the definition? Yes. It is an external opening of the nose or of the nasal cavity of a vertebra. Nostril. N-O-S-T-R-I-L-S. Was it nostrils or nostril? Yeah, but it's okay, right? Yeah, it's okay. It was one, but because you ask, you're good. You're fine. All right. Nostril. <coughs> Pretzel. Pretzel. P. R. E. T. 
Z E L. Pretzel. Correct. Renovate. Can you give me the definition, please? Yes. To restore to a former state as a freshness, soundness, purity, or newness of appearance. To make over. Renovate. Can you please repeat the word? Renovate. 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 R I N A V A T E. That's incorrect. R E N O V A T E. Renovate. Hurricane. Hurricane. H U R R I C A N E. Hurricane. Correct. Alcove. Can you give me the definition, please? Yes. An alcove is a recessed part as a breakfast nook of a room or a small room opening into a larger room. Alcove. Can you repeat the word? Oh. A L C O V E. Correct. Ballerina. Ballerina. B A L L E R N I A. Ballerina. That's incorrect. B A L L E R I N A. Gradient. Can I have the definition? Yes. The inclination or the rate of regular or graded ascent or descent as of a slope, a roadway, or a pipeline. Gradient. Can you see it in a sentence? Signs on the roadside warned of the increasing, increasing gradient ahead and caused drivers to check their brakes. Gradient. G R A D. I E N T gradient. Correct. Tofu. Tofu. T O F U. Tofu. Correct. Cameo. Cameo. C A M E O. Cameo. Correct. Hypothesis. Hypothesis. H Y P O T H E S I S. Hypothesis. Correct. Spectrum. Spectrum. S P E C T R U M. Spectrum. Correct. This word has a near homonym. This word is protein. This word is a noun and it means any of a very large class of naturally occurring, extremely complex combinations of amino acids that are essential constituents of all living cells and also of the diet of animal organisms. Protein. Protein. P-R-O-T-E-I-N. Protein. Correct.
This word has a homonym. This word is confidence. This word is a noun. And the definition is a relation or state of trust between persons who share or impart secrets or intimate matters. Confidence. Confidence. C-O-N-F-I-D-E-N-C-E. Confidence. Correct. Fidelity. Fidelity. F-I-D-E-L-I-T-Y. Fidelity. Correct. Denim. Denim. D. E N I M. Correct. Tragic. Tragic. T R A G I C. Tragic. Correct. Rehearse. Rehearse. R E H E A R S E. Rehearse. Yes. Homonym. H O M I N I M. All right. That's incorrect. It's H O M O N Y M. Homonym. Seersucker. Seersucker. S E E R S U C K E R. Seersucker. Yes, correct. <clears throat> Fathom. Can you say the word again? Fathom. Fathom. F A T H Y M. Fathom. That's incorrect. F A T H O M. This word has a homonym. This word is llama. This word is a noun, and it means any of several cud chewing mammals of South America related to the camels, but smaller and without a hump. Llama. L L A M A, llama. Yes. Finale. Finale. Can you give me the definition? Yes. It is the last section or movement of an instrumental musical composition. Finale. 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 F I. N A L E finale. Yes. Interrupt. Interrupt. I N T E R R U P T. Interrupt. Yes. Polymer. Could I have the definition, please? Yes. It is a natural or synthetic chemical compound or mixture of compounds consisting essentially of repeating structural units. Polymer. Polymer. P O L L E M U R. Polymer? That's incorrect. It's P O L Y M E R. Stucco. Can you repeat the word? Stucco. S Stucco. S T U C K U P. Stucco. Okay, um, we think you heard the word wrong. 
And so we're going to call a redo, and we're going to give you a completely different word. Okay. Okay. Contraband. Contraband. C O N T R I B A N D. Contraband. That's incorrect. It's C O N T R A B A N D. Sultan. Sultan. S U L T A N. Sultan. Sultan. Correct. Bevel. Can you repeat it? Bevel. Can you use the definition? Yes. To cut or shape to an angle, to put a slant or an edge. Can you repeat it one more time? Bevel. Bevel. B E A V E L. Bevel. That's incorrect. B E V E L. Cafeteria. Cafeteria. C A F E T E R I A. Cafeteria. Yes. Apricot or apricot? Apricot. A P A P R I C O A P R O C A T E That's incorrect. A P R I C O T Worrisome. Worrisome. W O R R I S O M E. Worrisome. Correct. That is the end of round one. If uh, if you misspelled a word, you may go and sit with your parents now. This is the second round of spelling. Number one, come forward. Your word is diagnosis. Diagnosis? Mm hmm D-I-A-G-N-O-S-I-S. -S. Correct. Adios. Can you repeat the word? Mm -hmm. Adios. Adios. A D I D O S. That's incorrect. A D I O S. Popularity. Popularity. P O P U L A R I T Y. Popularity. Correct. Okay. 
boutique. Can you give me the definition, please? Did you ask me to repeat it? Can you give me the definition, please? Definition, okay. It is a small retail store, especially a specialty shop, dealing in ladies, fashionable, ready-to-wear clothes and accessories, boutique. B-U-T-I-C. That's incorrect. B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E. Daffodil. Daffodil. Can you use it in a sentence? Daffodil. Can you? Did she ask for the definition? Okay. A plant of, of a sentence. Oh, the daffodil is Susan's favorite spring flower. Daffodil. D-A-F-F-O-D-I-L. Correct. Carnivore. Carnivore. C A R N I V O R E. Correct. Leotard. Can you say it in the sentence? Yes. In modern dance, Performers often wear a very simple leotard. Leotard. L-E-A-T-A-R-D. Leotard. Incorrect. L-E-O-T-A-R-D. <coughs> Fiery. Fiery. F-I-E-R-Y. Correct. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is iguana. This is, the part of speech of this word is a noun. The definition is any of a large, any of a number of large herbivorous, chiefly tropical American lizards being typically dark colored with a serrated dorsal crest and attaining a length of several feet. Iguana. Iguana. I G U A N A. Iguana. Correct. Stipple. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Eva will stipple a seashell design on her bathroom wall over the mirror. Stipple. S T I P P. L E. Stipple. Correct. Panic. Panic. P A N I C. Panic. Good. Giraffe. Giraffe. G I R A F F E. Giraffe. Yes. Hyphen. Can you please repeat it? Pardon? Can you please repeat it? Hyphen. Hyphen. <laughs> H I G H F I N. That's incorrect. H Y P H E N. Canasta. This word can be confused with a similar word. Your word is canasta. It is a noun and it means a card game that is a form of rummy played usually as a two hand or a four hand partnership game. Canasta. C A N A S T A. Canasta. Correct.
trauma? Trauma. T R A U M A. Trauma. Yes. Crochet. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. It's needlework consisting of the interlocking of loop stitches formed with a single thread and a hook needle. Crochet. Can I have language, language of origin? Uh, yes, it's French. What? It's a noun. Crochet, C R O C H E. No, but you are really close. C R O C H E T. Incorruptible. Incorrupt. Can I get in a sentence? Sure. Um, the local police police force prided itself on being incorruptible. Incorruptible. I N C O R R U P T I B L E. Incorruptible. Yes. Albatross. Albatross. Can you give me a definition? Yes. Uh, any of a number of large web-footed seabirds that are related to the petrels and then include the largest of the seabirds being capable of a long continued flight and appearing often at great distances from land, cheap, cheaply over southern seas. Albatross. Um, can you give me origin? Yes, it is uh, probably from a Latin influenced Portuguese word or a Spanish word. Okay, albatross. A L B I T R O S S. That's incorrect. A L B A T R O S S. Hazard. Hazard. H A Z A R D. Hazard. Yes. Vibrato. Will you please repeat the word? Vibrato. May I please have a definition? Yes. It is a tremulous effect imparted to vocal or instrumental tone for added warmth and expressiveness. Vibrato. Vibrato. V. V A B R O T T O, vibrato. That's incorrect. V I B R A T O. Quesadilla. Could I have the definition, please? Yes, it's a turnover, usually made with a cheese filling. Quesadilla. Q U E S I D A L L I. It's incorrect. Q U E S A D I L L A. Croquet. Can I have the definition, please? Yes. 
It is a game in which players drive wooden balls with mallets through a series of wickets set out on a lawn in a particular order. Croquet. Croquet. C R O Q U E. T T E. No. Uh, C R O Q U E T. Okay, this is the end of round two. Let's give a round of applause. The words got hard. Okay, you guys can go sit with your parents. The next round will be vocabulary. Mr. Cordell's going to read uh, the rules again for the vocabulary section. All right, in this section, the caller will read aloud the word, the vocabulary question, and both <coughs> options A and B. The caller will respond to the speller's request for a question and or answer options to be repeated. If needed, the caller will also provide the spelling of the word in question. A sp the speller may answer the question by providing the letter associated with the chosen answer, the chosen answer, or both. For example, if the speller is offered the question, what is porridge made from, A, fur, or B, grain, each of the following methods of answering is correct. B, grain, or B, grain. Thank you. Number one. Culprits. Culprits are people A, employed to care for gardens, or B, accused of or charged with crimes. B? Correct. Your word is paramedic. P A R A M E D I C. A paramedic is trained to provide A, emergency medical care, or B, suggestions for local attractions? A. Correct. Humanitarian. A humanitarian is A, concerned in promoting social reform, or B, an advocate for recycling? A. That is correct. Your word is cour courier, C-O-U-R-I-E-R-S. Another word for courier is A, messenger, or B, grooms? A. Correct. <clears throat> Peasantry. Peasantry is A, a class that tilled the soil as hired laborers, or B, a group that acts as extras in a play. Can you repeat A, please? A class that tilled the soil as hired laborers. A. Correct. Antagonism. 
Another word for antagonism is A, tragedy, B, hostility. B? Correct. Your word is abolition, A-B-O-L-I-T-I-O-N. Abolition is A, the act or state of doing away with completely, or B, the cleansing of bodies by distillation. A. Correct. Percussion. Percussion is A, a vibratory shock, or B, the tone of a character. A. Correct. Your word is relinquish, R-E-L-I-N-Q-U-I-S-H. Another word for relinquish is A, revive, or B, renounce. B? Correct. Extricate. Extricates means A, progresses, or B, draws out from. B? Correct. Pad Thai. Pad Thai is a type of A, food, or B, prayer. A. Correct. Diabolical. Something described as diabolical relates to A, devils, or B, handwriting. A. Correct. Fugitive. A fugitive is someone who A, makes very little money, or B, tries to escape justice. B. Correct. Okay, and then we're going back to spelling? Okay. At this point, we're returning back to a spelling round. Number one. Oh, yes. Page 11, Here's the book. Yes. Okay, number one, come forward, please. Your word is calculus. Calculus. C A L C U L U S. Correct. Guava. Can you repeat the word, please? Guava. Guava. G U A V A. Correct.
suffocate. Suffocate. S U F F O C A T E. Suffocate. Yes. Hibiscus. Hibiscus. H I B U S C U S. That's incorrect. It's H I B I S C U S. Pronto. Pronto. P R O N T O. Pronto. That's correct. This word has a homonym. This word is clicks. It is a noun, and it means a narrow, exclusive circle or group of, per of persons. Clicks. Clicks. C-L-I-Q-U-E-S. Very good, good. A company. A company. A C C O M P A N Y. A company. Good. <clears throat> Damask. Could you repeat the word? Damask. Could I get a definition? Yes. It is an adjective. It means made of or resembling a firm, lustrous fabric. Damask. D-A-M-A-S-C. Incorrect. D-A-M-A-S-K. Hilarious. Hilarious. H-I-L-A-R-I-O-U-S. Hilarious. Yes. Apprehend. Apprehend. A P P R E H E N D. Apprehend. Yes. This word can be confused with a similar word. This word is siesta. It is a noun and it means an afternoon nap or rest. Siesta. Siesta. S I E. S T A, siesta. Yes. Jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. Can I get it in a sentence? Yes. Uh, Silas felt more relaxed after a long soak in the jacuzzi. Jacuzzi. J A C U. Z Z I. Yes. Jacuzzi. Good. <clears throat> Homily. Can you pronounce it again? Homily. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. At the back at the church service, Mr. Lopez gave a brief homily on the theme to thine own self be true. Can I get the origin? Yes. It is from the Greek. Homily. H O M O L Y, homily. That's incorrect. H O M I L Y. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys can go to your parents if you like. Oh, definitely. Okay, number one.
Vexation. Vexation. V E X A T I O N. Yes. This word could be confused with a similar word. This word is stagnant. This word is an adjective and it means not running in a current stream, in a current or stream, not flowing, motionless. Stagnant. S T A G N A T. Stagnant. That's incorrect. It's S T A G N A N T. Gangrene. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The soldier knew that if gangrene set in, his wounded leg would need to be amputated. Gangrene. G-A-N-G-R-E-N-E. -E. Gangrene. Yes. Good. Cherished. Can you use it in a sentence, please? Yes. Demi cherished her grandmother's dog, Pebbles, as if she were her own. Cherished. C H A R I S E D. Cherished. That's incorrect. C H E R I S H E D. Cherished. Sturgeon. Sturgeon. S T U R G E O N. Correct. Good. Penitent. Can you use in a sentence? Yes. Uh, St. Francis of Assisi spent several years as a penitent at the beginning of his conversion. Can you, use, um, can you give me a definition? Yes. A person who repents of their sin, of sin one sorrowful because of his transgressions. Penitent. P-E-N-I-T-E-N-T. -E -E penitent. Correct. This word has two pronunciations, Caribbean or Caribbean. Okay. C A, oh sorry, Caribbean. C A R I B B E A N, Caribbean. Yes. Haberdashery. Haberdashery. H A B. E R D A S T E R Y, haberdashery. No, it's, it's H A B E R D A S H E R Y. This word could be confused with a similar word. This word is eclair. This word is a noun and it's a chocolate frosted oblong cream puff with whipped cream or custard filling. Eclair. E-C-L-A-I-R, eclair. Correct. Corrugated. Corrugated? Mm-hmm. Can I use it, can you, use, can you give me the definition? Yes, it means having a ridged or furrowed surface. Corrugated. C O R R O G A T E D. Corrugated. That's incorrect. C O R R U G A T E D. Okay. Round five. Okay, so this is the end of round five. Okay, this is the end of round five. And you may go to your parents. Okay, 
so we go to six vocab and begin with waltz. Yeah, waltz, okay. Whoosh. Okay, you guys, if you're still up here, you are amazing. This has been, I think these words have been quite difficult for all of you. Way to go. So um, this is the next vocabulary round. Come on up, number one. Waltz. A waltz is A, a type of dance, or B, a style of shoes. Waltz? Mm -hmm. A. Correct. Croon. What does it mean to croon? A, to win a bet, or B, to sing in half voice? Oh, I'm supposed to spell it. Sorry. C-R-O-O-N. Can you repeat the answer choices? Yes. What does it mean to croon? A, to win a bet, or B, to sing in, in half voice? B. Correct. Mongoose. A mongoose is a type of A, bird, or B, mammal. A? That's incorrect. It's a mammal. Polygon. What is a polygon? A, a representation of different sounds by the same letter, or B, a closed figure consisting of straight lines joined end to end. B? Correct. Forlorn. A person described as forlorn is A, unkempt, or B, sad. B. Correct. Loiter. What does it mean to loiter? A, to instigate an argument, or B, to hang around? B. Correct. This is the end of round six, and now we go back to spelling. <laughs> you can go sit with your parents if you want. Number one. Reprimand. Reprimand. R E P R I M A N D. Yes. Inertia. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Inertia carried the train past the station. Inertia. I N E R T I A. Inertia. Good. Yes. Impregnable. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. The three feet of densely packed snow developing John's Fort rendered it impregnable. Impregnable. I M P R E G N A B L E. Impregnable. Good. Vocational. Vocational. V O C a T I O N A L, vocational. Good. Mutton chops. K 
Could you repeat it? Mutton chops. M U. Wait, what origin is it? Yes, it is. This word consists of a Celtic word that went through French before becoming English, plus an originally English word. You can't make this up. Definition? Yes. Side whiskers that are narrow at the temple and broad and round by the lower jaws. So the word is? Mutton chops. M-U-T-T-O-N-C-H-O-P-S. Yes. <laughs> okay. Number one. That concludes round five. Seven. <laughs> Piedmont. Piedmont. P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T. Yes. Trenchant. Can I have the definition? Yes. It means sharply perceptive. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Sam's trenchant analysis made her a sought after guest on panel discussion shows. Can you repeat the word? Trenchant. Trenchant. T R E N C H A N T. Trenchant. Yes, good. You guys are great. <laughs> Attenuated. Can you use that in a sentence? Yes. Michael attenuated the olive oil by heating it over the stove in his favorite cast iron pot. Can I get the definition? Yes. It means to make thin in consistency. Attenuated. A T T. E N U A T E D. Attenuated. Good. Redundancy. Redundancy. R E D U N D A N C Y. Redundancy. Yes. This word has a near homonym. This word is cyanide. It is a noun, and it means an extremely poisonous salt, usually with a more electropositive element or radical. Cyanide. S-I-A-N-I-D-E? No, that's incorrect. C-Y-A-N-I-D-E, cyanide. And that concludes round eight. <laughs> Number one. Recompense. Recompense, you mean? Okay, recompense. Okay, R E C O M P E N S E. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is sachet. This word is a noun. It means a small bag or packet, especially a small bag containing a perfumed powder that is used to scent clothes. Sachet. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Aunt Kate keeps a sachet in her clothes closet. Sachet. S-A-C-H-E-T. Sachet. Good. Amethyst. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. 
uh, Ray loves to gaze into the purple depths of the amethyst in his mother's ring. Amethyst. A M E T H Y S T. Amethyst. Correct. Expiation. Expiation. E X P I A T I O N. Expiation. Correct. Oh my goodness. Wow. That concludes round nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number one, Tetrarch. Tetrarch, T-E-T-R-A-R-C-H. Correct. Harlequin. Harlequin, can you use it in a sentence? Yes, the children enjoyed the buffoonish antics of the Harlequin. Harlequin. H A R L E Q U I N. Harlequin. Correct. This word has a homonym. This word is docile. This word is an adjective and it means easily led, managed or handled, obedient. Docile. D O C I L E. Docile. Correct. Courteous. Courteous. Can I have it in a sentence, please? Yes. The customer relations representative was courteous and efficient. Okay. C. Courteous. C O U R T E O U S. Courteous? Yes. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep right on going. Number one. You can just come, you can just keep coming up. Rapacious. Rapacious? R A P A C I O U S. Yes. Affidavit. Affidavit. Can I have the definition? Yes, it's a sworn statement in writing made especially under oath or on affirmation before an authorized officer. Affidavit. A F F I D A V I T. Affidavit. Yes. Noisome. Can you say a sentence? Yes. A noisome odor emanated from the plastics factory. Noisome. N O I S O M E. Noisome. Good. <coughs> Homo sapien. Homo sapien. H O M O S A P I E N S. Oh, wait. Yes. Did you say Homo sapiens? Either way. Okay. Homo sapiens. Yeah, that's right. Concertina. Concertina? Uh huh. C O N C E R T I N A. Correct. Savannah. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. When Homo sapiens first arrived in Africa, 
they initially occupied the savannah. Savannah. S-A-V-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Savannah. Correct. Fuchsia. Can you send a sentence? Yes. Europeans first discovered the fuchsia around 1696 in the Caribbean on the island of Hispani Say it. Hispaniola, now home to the countries of Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Can you say the word again? Huh? Can you say the word again? Yes, fuchsia. Fuchsia. F U S C I A, fuchsia. That's incorrect. F U C H S I A. Cinnabar. Can you use another sentence? Yes. The orange color of rubber gaskets is often created by the addition of cinnabar. Can I have the definition? Yes. Artificial red mercuric sulfide used principally as a pigment, vermilion. <coughs> S-Y-N-O-B-A-R, cinnabar. That's incorrect. C-I-N-N-A-B-A-R. Okay. Okay, at this point, we have a competition between two finalists, and we're gonna read the new rules for this stage of the game. All right, competition between two finalists. Please note Georgia's rules differ from scripts. When a round results in only two spellers who have correctly spelled their words, they will be declared the finalists. When one finalist misses a word, the other, other finalists will spell the next word on the caller's list. If the contestant spells that word and the next word on the list correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If he or she misspells either of those words, the other finalist will be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. If that finalist spells the next word and the next word correctly, he or she will be declared the winner. If both finalists misspelled their word, both shall continue in the B, and the one who first misspelled his or her word shall be given the next word on the caller's list to spell. Objecting. When only two spellers remain, an objection must be made immediately before the second speller has started the spelling of the word given to him or her. No objection shall be entertained after the second speller has started spelling the word or after the competition is terminated. The judges and the GAE Spelling Bee Committee are in complete control of the B. Their decision shall be final on all matters. Thanks. Postmortem. Postmortem. Could you give the definition? Yes. An examination of a body after death to determine the cause of death or the character and extent of changes produced by disease. Postmortem. Postmortem. P O. R T M O R T U M. That's incorrect. P O S T M O R T E M. Now, sh now, what happens next is you have to spell two correctly to win. Got it? Okay. Morgue. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. A place where the bodies of unidentified persons. Oh, you want to ask for a sentence? Mm -hmm. Sorry. The television show about investigating crimes usually has at least one scene that takes place in a morgue. Morgue. M O R G U E, morgue. Correct. 
and your next word is anchovy. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Joshua removed every anchovy from his slice of pizza. Anchovy. A-N-C-H-O-V-Y. That is correct. <laughs> Congratulations. Smile. Yeah. Okay, one more smile.